Hi again, I've just been out in the lab uh, working on some new materials which are based on nanoengineering, just amazing what's coming through. But much as it's exciting that we're expanding into new things, I think we need to come back to some basics. We often get uh, inquiries about volume versus weight and there's a presumption that they're the same, but actually they're not. This is related to all of our products. Um, a volume, of course, is your displacement and your weight, as we've depicted here. They're equal here on the scales, but they're not in reality. And this is where we get a lot of stickiness comes into uh, the use of our products. So we want you to get a solid solution in the end. So it's all down to reading the instructions, which have been very well thought out and uh, expressed so that it's straightforward for you. We also have uh, URL codes on our labels uh, on many products now where you can get in-depth extra information. Now, down to uh, this volume, versus weight issue. A good starting point is, uh, which I'm sure many of you know, that water, which I've got here with a little blue in, in it so we can see it, one litre of water marked here weighs one kilogram. And that is the case for water, but other than that it varies greatly. For example, on these scales here, this is sand. It's reading 1.5 kilos, but it's still only a litre, same volume as your water. But that's a kilo, this is 1.5. And this is where it gets interesting. When you start working with our chemical products, our polyurethanes, epoxies, and, uh, silicon rubbers and so on, they're all over the shop with their different specific gravities. For instance, a common hardener here, a litre again, it's not even weighing a kilo, it's weighing 900 grams. And here we've got um, its matching product, its, mat its resin that's going with it and it's coming in at about 1.1 kilo. So if you've got instructions that say, for instance, to work by um, weight, there's more here, work by weight, don't substitute it for volume because we've just shown you that can be very different when it's translated into a volume mix. So it's important that you get those scales out or go and invest them in some kitchen scales. They'll do the job. But if, if it says by volume, again, don't substitute by weight. That's all I want to say on that, because what can happen is it'll all blend up, but as we've got here a little bit of resin art, which is very popular at the moment, you end up with a stickiness. Look, it, it, you can hear that, it's picking it up, very tacky. What's that? That's all the surplus chemical that didn't get to cross-link, because one ratio was out, and so it's got to goes somewhere and it comes to the surface. We end up with stickiness. Anyway, that's it for today. And as I say, we're doing some interesting things out the back and I want to get back to it. Catch you.